What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to do another ranked match video. Um, gotta stay up near the top of the ladder so I can keep getting these weekly winners. And today, I'm not actually sure what deck I want to use. So, I can go Temple Order Knights. I can go Mono Decay. I haven't played Mono Decay in a while, actually. I kind of want to do that. Aggro and Gem Growth, I just did last time, so I don't think I want to do another video of that. Late Game Order. Let's go with Late Game Order today. I don't think I'd have, have a video with Late Game Order and Ranked in quite a long time. If you didn't know, Late Game Order was like the first Scrolls deck I played in Ranked like about like a year ago or more than a year ago. A year ago. So, that'll be cool. Again, link in the description for that deck. And hopefully I can find a match relatively quickly. I'll go over the deck right now, actually. So, it's... it's I, I like it a lot. Um, the Rictus Partisan and Gallant Defender both got huge buffs um, with waypoints to give them uh, their abilities when you have the same number of units on the field as your opponent instead of only having less units on the field. So, I think they're both really strong. You have to be a pretty uh, valuable scroll to be able to knock off Royal Skirmisher out of an order deck, and that's what Rictus Partisan did. Um, waking Stones have proved to be really strong, especially because Mount Dispersal deals damage now, so it's so hard for energy to destroy Waking Stones. I'm almost considering putting in like some tick bombs in my uh, energy deck because of uh, Waking Stones and stuff. Well, and two Night Scholars. Don't love Night Scholar, but it is a Knight, so it helps with uh, Night Sergeant. But um, it is. I only have two of them, so I, because I don't like them that much. The four health, I wish it was five like it used to be, but whatever. Rela, Rela Ross, um, although he's like amazing, everybody says, only have two of him because he's usually a dead draw, um, if you already have one on the board, and pretty self-explanatory, I do have Imperials. Um, all three types of countdown reduction here, no tempo thefts though. And hopefully this works out pretty darn well. So I'll be back when a match is found. Finally found a match that took a little bit too long for my liking. It's probably going to be a person uh, rated a little far for me, which is unfortunate. So good luck to Unreachable. And I'm going to, to draw a new hand. I know I like Waking Stones at turn 3 and then I have Night Scholar, but I'd rather have like a Righteous Partisan and maybe get some quick card draw early on. So that's actually probably a little bit better. And I will sacrifice the early paw there. Make sure I can get creatures out. Let's see what Unreachable is playing. I don't think I've seen Unreachable before. Let me do a quick look up on Scrolls Guide. If you didn't know, you could search on their name on Scrolls Guide. Um, Scrollsguide.com slash ranking. You search your name and you can see their uh, rating and stuff. See who you're facing. Now, this guy's pretty experienced. 
1,700 matches and won 60% of them. And already in 1527, so I guess it's a little strange that I haven't ever seen him before. I'll get rid of the Blessing of Haste. Maybe I shouldn't. And hopefully, uh, Unratio plays like a 2 drop here. He probably will. Maybe like a Darkling. Or a Trisman. And then I'll play the Righteous Partisan for some card draw. And he doesn't. That's. Actually, that's okay for me because I can just play the Waking Stones now. And I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice either the Sergeant or the Vanguard. I'm going to get rid of the. Vanguard. Sergeant can help get that Arbalister counting down. And I'll take hold of middle row here. And uh, Decay is pretty darn bad at destroying structures. Actually, it's Decay Order. That's interesting. Um, curious what his deck is going to be like. Okay, and I am going to get rid of the Rectus Partisan now. Because you have a nice curve straight up. From Skirmisher to Sergeant to Arbalister. Man, I love this. I love this new head I got. Can't wait uh, to see what uh, Mojang came up with for the reward for the top side of the ladder. I hope they have different kind of rewards. So Unreachable is uh, taking advantage of the new wild, which can go to two times the lowest resource. Or I mean two times, like, y you know what I mean. Uh, although Flip is kind of valuable against Decay, I'd rather just keep the curve going. Get a nice Arjun out. Um, I'll put him in front because I think nice Arjun is a little more valuable. And it looks pretty good for us so far. As Lakey and Warder, we actually have control of the board early on. And a Righteous Partisan or Unreachable, so... We'll draw a little bit. And... That'll be it. I'll play the Arbalister over the General. And I'm not totally sure if I want to move up here. I'm not going to move up. I'd just rather stay behind these waking because I think I'm okay. Actually... There could be a Puppet Soldier Horn of Ages coming. So... I'm going to move this guy off row. Put the Arbalice here. It's, it is a little annoying doing that, that uh... Then if like these guys move up, I don't want to directly attack them. But the Waking Stones is enough protection. If that guy stayed up there, he can go with the Puppet Soldier, Horn of Ages. And I, if I didn't top deck like a Pother or a Flip or something, I would be toast. So just making sure that doesn't happen. Infiltrate. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Vanguard, Sacrifice of Scrolls. And I will get a... I guess I'll just get a Gallant Defender up. Um, a lot of times Order Decay decks have Poison involved. I haven't seen poison involved yet with this guy's though, so I guess I'll just have to see. And nothing is attacking for me right now, so I don't mind clumping them all up together. I'll just put you right there. Okay, and the uh, Gallant Defender only has armor zero right now because I have, I have five units on the board, and Unreachable has two. Blight Seed on this guy. Okay. And bigger distraction. So okay, so he's ramping up and he's gonna get some uh some extra stuff from this blight seed. Um let's see if there's a way for me to destroy it. If I have a flip that'd be good to so get rid of the blight seed. Because I don't want him just to draw draw two scrolls and increase current decay by two. I'll keep the wiki, uh the rose of being pushed in for that reason. And unfortunately, I am not going to be able to destroy the Blight CD guy. So, oh well. I'm still going to stay away from what's going on up here. And I think we're fine. Actually, it was kind of risky uh, it was risky last turn with a Puppet Soldier Horn of Ages there beside this guy attacking on this row. Vigor, another Vigor Extraction. So he's got he getting that ramp. I'm a little bit worried, but at the same time, I'm not because... I have obvious control of the board, and there's not really that much that, like, like energy and growth are the things known to, like, clear boards with Quake and Thunder Surge and stuff. Decay is really the only option, is like, a lot of Bloodline Tainting and Poison, but I haven't seen a ton of that. Here, I will... Do I kill this? Yeah, I'm gonna kill it. Like, you might have, like, a Witch Doctor or something. It might be wise to just take this out right now. So I will do that. 
and then I think I'm going to just hold on to the uh, I'm going to hold on to the righteous partisan I don't see the need of filling with board more just keep uh, try to keep some cards in hand so I have more things to sacrifice for and stuff and make sure I'm not like dead to like a puppet soldier then again I could always just draw a flipper or a pother if I got lucky and he goes to the pother and he gets a two-thirds chance up and he's able to destroy a gallant defender okay and pillar of fatigue interesting so now I can't really move but I have pothers and flips and all that stuff so he uh He doesn't have that stuff. Let's get rid of the righteous parts, and I kind of want to get like an imperial resources or something soon. Let's see. The thing is, the pillar of fatigue right now means that this eager star is not drawing cards, which is good. If I speed this guy and focus him, I can just wipe this lane. So I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to, uh, I could like try to rust beam push you, but I think just speed focus up here is just a better play. So I'll go with a speed and a focus. So that takes all of that out. And then I'll just deal some extra idle damage. Unfortunately, these guys aren't next to each other, but I don't want to raise anybody's countdown. So dealing. More idle damage, and unreachable goes with uh, Imperial Resources before late game order does an Imperial Resources. Looks like unreachable has like a draw deck of sorts. Still a little bit worried, but I don't see how he can clear a board of such high health creatures, unless he has like a lot of bloodline taints in hand. I will go ahead and get rid of the Skirmisher for Scrolls. I want to get a Vanguard down, I think that's uh, going to be a wise play. A Royal Vanguard, so let's just get it right smack in the middle right here. Okay, that's cool. Keep damaging the idols a little bit, but Imperial Resources actually healed his idols quite a bit. Because I, de I dealt damage to like 4 of the 5. So a lot of times if you're playing an order deck, you want to just smash down one of the idols and then like go on the idols one by one. Because you know there's stuff like Imperial Resources that can heal their idols. So take it out while you can. I hope there's more idol healing introduced to the game. I just want more things to interact with idols in general. Like idle enchantments, idle spells, stuff like that. And, oh, so he was having like a Tempo Theft Harvester thing. But, unfortunately for him, is it, I don't think that Harvester is even going to attack this turn. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that was actually a pretty cool play. Um, it was a five card combo to destroy a bunch of my stuff. Um, and he, could, he kind of afforded to do it because he... Uh, get so many resources from the ramp I think I'm in an okay position though I'm still okay let's see let's sacrifice the wing shield for scrolls play a knight sergeant here maybe this is this pillar fatigue is kind of annoying it is really annoying actually Let's see, I'm not trying like, I guess I could pile the next one, that might not be too bad. Well, you know, let's just get a, a general down. I think general will be a nice play right there. Okay. Sacrifice some more wild and a new rue. And a speed on the new rue. And that will take out my arbalister. I've never seen new rue speed before. I guess that works, but Unreachable is top decking. But uh, he definitely is ramped much higher than I. Though actually, yeah, he couldn't actually destroy that Arbalizer without any other countdown reduction because of the because of the Pillar of Fatigue. And he, because wisely, I think wisely, moves back with the Husk. Because, um, the Husk, um, because he wants to save for next turn because he's just attacking idle right now. And interesting, he was smart. He moved his new rule while the pillar of fatigue was up because if he didn't know 
So if you have a pillar for Teagub, you can move with a Nuru and have it attack every single turn. That's interesting. I'm running out of time here, aren't I? Um, I think I have to get rid of this thing somehow. So let's just bother that. Then I will... Um, sacrifice the Night Scholar for scrolls. Speed. Um, I can't even speed with other stuff, though. Okay, I'll just speed. That's I just I have to do it like that. I have to get rid of that Nuru. Um, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, I may have been able to do that turn a little better. Because now there's a Harvester that I can attack with a speed. Oh boy, I might actually lose this match. Unreachable is really making it tougher, man. I need to get, um... It would be really nice to get a... I want uh, Imperial Resources soon. There's Imperial Resources. A little too late though. Let's just keep filling the board until I can start to do so. I might end up flipping the Pillar Fatigue, but I mean, he'll just probably play another one. He only has three cards. So if he has a speed right now, he might play it. He might not. It doesn't help him that much because he just, he just doesn't deal a lot of damage. I can't even flip the Harvester. Tempo Theft. Okay, so that's how he does it. He's Instead of the speed, he's going Tempo Theft like that. And I'm going to... You can go with an... Oh, this thing gives him like a lot of Tempo Theft room. That's it. That's cool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for an Imperial Resources. I think uh, that is my best bet. That very well... This, these guys have such high counts on it's so annoying. Um, why don't we sacrifice the Knight Sergeant for resources? Just play an Imperial Resources. Get that out there, and... Although I don't like it, I'm going to move up. I'm increasing my count down, but I'm going to move up. Alright. Unreal is playing this deck really well, I think. He has like he's using the husk oil to always have like a zero countdown for something like tempo theft and stuff like that. I'm very worried. Um, this coming turn I should be able to wreck some havoc with all my countdown reduction and stuff. I'll just see. I'll see what I can do. So, if... Let's see his turn. Light seed on that. Okay. Let's see what I can do. So if I go with a Oh boy, and there's a Relorus. Blessing of Haste would... Just a Blessing of Haste and a Roasted Bean Potion would make all these guys attack. Right? Yeah. And if I get a Relorus down, it, could, it can do stuff. But then there's this. There's this. How do I take that down? Blessing of Haste. I only have one flip. And how do I... I can't even flip stuff. Okay, this is... This is strange. I've n I'm not totally sure what to do in this situation. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'll just sacrifice for resources and fill the board more. I guess that's the play, right? Looks like the play. Um, we'll go ahead and play a, play a Relaros and a Night Scholar. Relaros here and a Night Scholar here. Okay, sure. Well, that's that then. And he can tempo theft, he can speed, but, oh, whoops, I thought I played a Night Scholar, I played a Wing Shield. <laughs> I guess it's not a huge, actually it is a pretty big deal because the Night Scholar would have counted down from this Night Sergeant. Did you draw a card from that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 
I I don't think he drew a card from that. I think we uh he had one more unit. I was asking. Alright. I'm a little bit worried, but then again, like I just keep saying, the harvester, even if it like attacks the armor of this uh Gaunt Defender is is more than enough to at least keep these guys alive. So all these guys are going to attack this coming turn, but they can't move. That's a thing. And even if I flip this to a place where I can destroy it, I can't move on that turn. So Harvester and then maybe a Tempo Theft here. Harvester again. What is this going to be? Like a bunch of Restless Bones? Okay. I'm a little worried. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think there's a lot of plays to do right now. I've, I have I have the like... Let's see. So... I think I'm going to start with just an Imperial resource. Sure. Oh, that. See, I'm not doing this perfectly. Like, I'm I'm doing like these little things that aren't the most efficient. I'll get rid of the Night Scholar for resources, and let's see what I can do mm -hmm. here. I want to move you so you go off again. I will destroy you with that. I guess I can move down and then re blessing of haste you. And flip that so I could destroy two harvesters. Actually, I'll do it with this guy so that. Yeah, I'll do this. So I'll move you down. Blessing of haste. Flip. And I'll move you here so that you go off again next turn. All right. So I think that I don't think that was too bad. Maybe I should have flipped this to a different spot. Whatever. And by moving this general, it means I'm actually taking advantage of a pillar of fatigue to have all my units attack again next turn. Another new rule, maybe newer speed. I don't know. We'll see. Who's more units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so right now, the partisan, I mean the get the defender has armor two, which is good. And I have a, my imperials are slowly ramping me back to where he is. <clears throat> How do I want to do this? And he, I'll be able to have some more fun here. I'm just gonna imperial again. I might be missing better plays, but just by imperialing. And also, like, I'm not going through the trouble of making sure this is so perfect with the damage. I may I may be missing lethal or stuff like that, but I'm just doing this like this. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... Um, I want to have the general attacking every turn. I really want that to happen. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the... Skirmisher for. Actually, no, I'm gonna have to do other stuff. I'm gonna have to Blessing of Haste something. Uh. Actually, this is. I'm gonna have to have the. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's see. How can I do this? Actually, this works. So, let's just get rid of the Skirmisher for Scrolls. I could do like flips and stuff, but I think this is fine. If I just move you here, and then Blessing of Haste, and then Focus, and then uh, flip something. I, I don't know, that could have been better. And move you. Oh, I didn't move you in time. That was not the best play, but I was able to at least destroy the stuff I needed to destroy. Like, I could have flipped something, like, in this, uh, 
Relors' way and destroyed it. it. Took a little too much time there, but overall it got the job done. Definitely could have been more like efficient though and killed an extra creature. So like, Halls of Om lost us, so he'll be getting the Nuru back and the Imperial resources. But I could win like very soon. Because oh, I do have a speed on this general, so I guess by me not moving it doesn't really make a huge deal. And can I win? Let's get rid of the waking stones here. Um, I don't. I can't win. Actually, I might be able to. Let's just go ahead and speed. Let's see a speed. I may, I may be missing lethal here because yeah I might be missing lethal here I'm gonna go ahead and go for a I'll just speed without the Relorus next to it and the Arbalice to it this is probably just a much better play to play and now I will and I didn't move yet either I'm I'm making mistakes left and right how do I want to do this Let's move you. This is like this is like why did I speed there? There's like I guess I should do it again. Or maybe I do win. Let's see. Oh no. No, that's bad. Do I win? No, I'm close. I'm I messed that up. <laughs> I probably could have won if I played their correct cards. I, I played a Relaross uh, when I already had Relaross there. Oh well. I, there's probably a way for me to win. I'm not totally sure. But now I probably... I mean, he could Imperial to heal that up, but an Arbalister and like a speed or something. Or somehow, if I can get an Arbalister to attack on that row, it, it's, it could probably finish off that idol. And... Let's see what I can do. Let's get some, some. My deck recycles now, so I'll have speeds and stuff. Let's see how I don't want to do this. If I just had like a decimation, that'd be beautiful. Oh, the days of late game order. Warding stone and tempo theft to make that attack and ten. Wow. Oh boy. That's scary. Let's get rid of the one of the alt defenders. Speed. Arbalister speed does not make him go off. I will go ahead and play an Arbalister. Actually, Arbalister speed. Yeah, I don't have enough things to make the Arbalister actually attack. And I'll play a. Vanguard in front. And I guess I'll move up. Because, I mean, they're just doing nothing down there. Next turn, I will probably be able to win the game. Unless this Arbalizer is like damn cursed or somehow destroyed. We'll see. Because even if he has three units on that row, that's five and then three and then actually three units of the row. No, I'll still win because this guy will have a buffed attack from either this guy or this guy. Or both. Okay. So, very interesting match versus Unreachable. Um, pretty fun. We're both playing more rampish decks. I was more traditional, uh, like Game Order, but he had uh, certainly cool things going on. And here comes the Russell Spones. Oh boy. I guess I was wrong. That kills both. I should have put like a Gaunt Defender in front there or something. Oh, this is not going too well now. Let's see. Do I just wait until I could play an Arbalister? Just an Arbalister and a Blessing of Haste would actually win the game. Let's see. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that Arbalister in hand. I'm going to move you. 
have to watch out if he can get like a win somehow. I don't know. There's definitely a way. I'll put down a general. And a defender. Okay, if I get like a blessing of haste, I think I could win this next turn. If I get a blessing of haste and a focus, I could definitely win. Depends on how well he uh, protects that lane. Maybe I should have put more emphasis earlier on in the game in trying to destroy that uh, pillar fatigue. But it's been here all game and it's been probably to his advantage. But it hasn't hindered me too much. I've made some misplays, but really, nobody plays Order perfectly. Not even to Overlord the Great Order Master. Order has so many moving parts with its knights and stuff, with it, especially late game or with generals and stuff. So many moving parts, it's almost hard to uh, have the perfect amount of like damage in every play and stuff like that. Okay, so if he only has two units on this row, that's three units, okay. So I went with a Blessing of Face and a Focus. Or actually just a Blessing of Face. Or actually, there's also other stuff I think that could work. Actually no, because I don't have Aurelors on the board right now. So, let's see. An Arbalister. I just know those Rallers on the board. Is that game? Arbalister Speed Rosa Bean Potion wins. Yep. That's GGWP. Just for fun. Let's do with this guy. And seven. That's seven. That's going to be seven. Three. Oh no, I don't think that's going to win. Oh shoot, I may have just messed up. Oh, I thought that would... Oh god. Why did I think that would win? That was a misplay, wasn't it? Oh boy, why, what am I thinking? I needed eight. I needed eight damage. Oh. And now that's going to be like already like played on the board two arbalizers from this uh thing only one more arbalizer in the deck all right i really need some stuff let's see what i can do i should probably just not sacrifice my wiggings those next time and just get them down that's annoying so i'll need a speed now i really messed that up Man, I gotta get my late game order groove back. Used to be my used to be my best deck. Okay. Holes of Moss is really helping him, I think. He's getting back his tempo thefts and stuff. Okay, and then a tempo theft, probably, maybe. Wording stone and I guess no tempo theft. Let's see. That was a huge misplay I made. Huge misplay. Another speed. I have another chance. I have another chance. A speed. Actually, is that game? Six and then three and then one. Yeah, it's game. This time it is definitely game. I would like to say that. Um yeah so speed imperial resources just make sure i gotta get that highest attack possible gg wp so um that's a quite a long game it's pretty fun back over to 1800 which is cool and thank you all for watching so like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this um keep on scrolling scrollers submit your top place to me at nerfninja at gmail.com and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.